All right, what is up, YouTube friends and family? So yes, you see my hood propped open with a piece of wood on my 17250. So my gas struts decided to um, stop working the other day when I was just randomly checking under my hood. Um, I know some people do that. I like to do that because I like to, uh, oh, sh oh, I thought that was my uh, tow truck. Um, I like to do that because I like to just to check stuff randomly inside my truck um, because you never know what you're going to find. And, well, like blown gas or, um, ga you know, gas struts or whatever you want to call them. Um, upper radiator hose right here. Yeah, she's leaking down in there. Let me flip you around. So, it see, it's a little wet right there. I just had started it. It is leaking from right below this, this connector right here. You can actually see it's a little wet right there. I can't, can't see that my finger because it won't focus. But anyway, it is wet. I just had it started and she is dripping down there. Um, I just topped off my coolant tank or my degas bottle because yes, she is leaking. And it's probably been leaking for a while and I just haven't noticed because I have been smelling a coolant smell every once in a while, especially when it's hot. But um, I'm hoping that's not the only place she's leaking because I have heard where this goes down here to the thermostat and I think there's a crossover tube down in there, um, PTT with uh, A-Rod outlines all of that in a video he did about three years ago but um anyway yeah she's getting towed i don't want to drive like this i just don't know how long it's been going on and i don't want to chance it possibly getting worse while i'm driving and um fail on me in the middle of the freeway and then i got to sit there and wait for a tow truck at least i can sit here and wait at the comfort of my own home um while I'm waiting for that tow truck. And yes, I am wearing a kind of a thick jacket. It is a little chilly out here in San Diego, California on this fine Tuesday, January 17th, I believe. Um, it's down in the 40s. Yes, that's cold for us. Um, doesn't stop me from wearing my flip flops. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, got to take it in for that. Uh, my gas struts are gonna be addressed. So hopefully those are covered. And my radiator hose should be covered. I mean, obviously. And then they're going to go do that uh, a, a thorough inspection on what a previous dealership did and or didn't do with my vehicle. And this is um, regarding my two times upper oil pan leak. Now three possible times. But the one dealership I went to, I'm not going to throw anyone under the bus on social media. But... Um, yeah, they they, they uh, cleaned off the evidence that was there. So I take my truck in after about 5,000 miles of driving. I take it to Utah. You know, it's in the middle of the uh, summertime, so it's hot. I've towed with it several times on, on, and within that oil change interval. Uh, so it developed a slight leak over by the um, – closer to the lower oil pan. And it was a wet all around the bell housing and the dealership or the – not the dealership, but the service rider and the technician's assistant, not even the technician, the technician's assistant, so it's like the secretary kind of, um, they had the audacity to tell me it's because of my last oil change I did and um, I let oil spill everywhere. And you guys have seen under my truck when I do oil changes or just in general, I can show you under the truck right now. Um, and I did an oil change back in October. Uh, right after they put dye in my oil, I just didn't want that. But um, yeah, uh, I'm I'm very meticulous and clean about my truck. Yes, it's it's a little dirty under the hood right now. Um, I have to wipe some stuff down. But you know, going to the desert and stuff like that, it does get dirty fairly fast. Um, so anyway, without naming names, man, stuff's dripping on me. Um, without naming any names of dealerships, I'm going to a different one. Uh, I think this all service riders in general are. Um, I would say slightly below average IQ, I guess, or something like that, because uh, every single one of them I've talked to in the recent past, and not I'm not talking about 
long time ago, 90s, early 2000s, man, those guys were on top of it. They were like former mechanics. These guys now, um, I think they were um, like former gas station attendants or something like that because, I mean, seriously, and I only, I mean, not to bash on gas station attendants, but uh, anyway, you guys know what I'm talking about is I think their capacity to understand a more technical aspect of things, especially with stuff like this, is very, very limited. And uh, they tend to argue for some reason, even though I have uh, an authorization from Ford uh, to, you know, get all this stuff done. So I don't understand that. Um, really weird. So we'll, we'll see what happens with this truck. But they're going to go over the transmission back there, the missing um, screw in my bell housing that, that I found. Um, they're going to make sure everything's torqued down. Um, I guess they're going to check for leaks. So I know they're not going to find anything because it's going to take a while to show its ugly face again. But Ford did approve me for a three year, 36,000 mile premium care, which is a bumper to bumper, uh, which, you know, takes me obviously the next three, 36 months and a little over a hundred thousand miles. Cause I don't drive this truck that often. Um, so it's got low miles on it, but you know, I'm just waiting for the next thing to fail. To be honest with you, um, I don't push this truck hard at all. It's it's a, a street queen for the most part, and she's hooked up to the trailer every once in a blue moon. Uh, so really sad to say, guys. I mean, all these things are kind of just falling apart. But uh, I, will, I will do an update once I get it back from the dealer. Uh, tow truck's on its way right now, so I'm just kind of waiting. They're put her on a flatbed. Um, I call me paranoid. I know. I don't want to drive it with that leak. Uh, anytime you find something like that, it's just all of a sudden, you, it could have been going on for a while, but <clears throat> now you recognize it and you're like, oh crap, I don't know if I should drive it or not. So I'm, I'm not going to drive it. And, uh, hopefully they only have it for a couple of days. Hopefully that hose they can replace tonight. Um, I mean, I know I can do it here on my break. I'm teleworking right now on my break time. So I'm going to go back inside here in a second, but I could probably have done that in my, during my break time. But again, you know, TSB or... The book calls for two hours of labor, so guess what they're going to charge, no matter what. And sometimes they take their time, sometimes they fix it in 20 minutes, and they charge you regardless. Um, anyway, enough rant on that. So, yeah, I'll give you guys an update of what's going on uh, once it comes back and tell you what they did and didn't do, what they found and didn't find. And um, I just have that little peace of mind now that um, I have an extended warranty from Ford. And um, so, all right, till the next one, guys. Later.